Zakuro, please listen to me. Your plan of making Flay accepted is wrong. Forcing the people of Elamea to accept us with brute force isn't going to work. Violence is not the answer. It's just going to make us look bad in front of everyone. Then what should I do? Chit-chatting will get us nowhere. There's still time, and there's always another way. Another way? Like what? Do you even have a plan? I'm just saying that there's more to consider to what you're planning. I don't even know what you're trying to accomplish. Why can't you trust me on this? What is there to hide? Because if I told you, you wouldn't like the man you truly married. <sighs> and before we could act, the main encounter was already over. I can't believe this. I don't believe this! Father? Involved with the war? And Flea? Zaki, you heard what Guardian Misa said. She's not making things up. Um, are you okay? I'm just frustrated. I don't know what to think. I spent four years dedicated to him, only to find this. <laughs> If I only knew about this, I wouldn't have to- Zoya, you've been through a lot, believe me, I know. But blaming yourself for everything is unacceptable. I too is to blame. But I should have listened to you. That was my last warning. But I was too stubborn. I've heard so many. Who knows what I did while I was under Hegon's control. Maybe I even killed- Hey, the important thing is that you came back. If you really want to redeem yourself, we're here to help you. Let's start by helping the remaining civilians and give them an apology. Soya, welcome back. I must leave now. I have duties to attend to. over my head. <laughs> or what I saw. They were just quick flashes, so I couldn't really tell. They were weird, Images. though. What was it you saw? Oh, it was dark silhouettes. Hmm. What? Silhouettes? Could this be connected to our mission? Now that a trace has surfaced, should we tell? Tamayo! Uh, is something wrong? You seem kind of spacey. Oh, no, it's nothing. Well, okay then, I'll go help Zakia. Tomoyo. Tomoyo, did 
something happened. <sighs> Don't get too overly excited, but I think Mikan is beginning to regain something interesting about herself. Uh, no way! Are you serious? Then we have the perfect opportunity to tell her the truth. How am I supposed to feel now that I'm in this situation? Hey, why did you not use this chance to explain to her? Because revealing the truth won't be as easy. First of all, telling her the truth would result in a possible breakout. There would be too many questions to ask and as well as to be answered. With this much new information, it would be too much for me to handle. Dropping a huge bomb on her right on the spot, it wouldn't give her enough time to process everything. And you know how everyone is, no one wants to be left in the dark. Besides, we don't have time to explain the whole story now. Not when we have all these injured people at our hands. And not to mention your brother has returned. Assuming we told Mikan the truth, do you think she'll believe every word? Give her some time to settle in and truly understand what happened here today. Are they the last ones? Yep. Hey, are you? Brother, what are you doing just standing there? Why not join us here? No thanks. I'll just stay here for a while. Did he seem kinda down? Yeah, he did. He knows he can just talk to us. It's not that easy, especially not in the open like this. Try putting yourself in his shoes. Hmm. Well, it'll be fine. He'll get over it sooner or later. Where are you going now? I'm kinda tired after earlier. So I'ma go lay down for a bit. Hmm. Oh, Tomoyo. I hate the sight of her. Oh, um, Tomoyo? Hey, huh? you dropped this earlier. Oh, right. Thanks. All right, we should finish up and head back. Those 
for the words you taught me. Now's the time to turn those words to reality. Everything's gone far enough already. And I chose to go back, but... Would you have preferred that I stayed? And cut our ties with Hegon? Will I be able to see you again when it's all over? Because... I don't want this to be... Our last goodbye.